Hello class, this is section 7.4 and we are going to demonstrate the usefulness of the Laplace transform differentiation formula with an example. We are asked to calculate this Laplace transform. This is actually one that we could calculate directly using integration by parts twice, but it's going to be easier to use the formula. The thing to observe is that if your function in the Laplace transform has a multiple of t in it, or multiple copies of t in it, you can use that formula. So let's uh, take a look. So the transform derivative rule says that if we multiply a function by t to the n, n times, that's the same thing as taking the derivative of the Laplace transform. So here, clearly, in our case, n is equal to 2 since we have a t squared in front of our function. So this means that this is equal to the second derivative of uh, fs, where fs is equal to the Laplace transform of e to the 2t. So we just remove the two copies of t and we have to consider now the Laplace transform of e raised to the 2t. So remember that there's a minus 1 term here that we have to worry about, but we, we don't have to do, to do that in this case because n is equal to 2. So anyway, um, we need to calculate the Laplace transform of the exponential function, and we know how to do that. It's in the table. We set a equals 2 here. So e to the 2t is Correspond, it corresponds to 1 over s minus 2. So this means that we need to take the second derivative of 1 over s minus 2. And, and the first derivative of 1 s minus 2 is just going to be minus 1 s minus 2 squared. And the second derivative is going to be 2 over s minus 2 cubed. And it's that easy. We didn't have to do any integration by parts to get our answer. And I hope this demonstrates the power of that Laplace transform differentiation formula.